My dad is a hunter, and when I was young, I was uh, shooting a shotgun a little bit. Robert Carlson found the target squarely whilst stylishly winning the 2010 Qatar Masters, and 2014 sees him back in Europe after a short stint in America. Not only was it one of the best wins I had, uh, it was also a win when I was out with the injury the year before, this was 2010. It was very, very satisfying and, and uh, great. It's good to be back. It's a lot of great events on the European Tour. Looking forward to see a lot of the players I played a lot with, but at the same time, you see how quickly things are changing because last week in Abu Dhabi, I think it was probably 25, 30 guys who I didn't know if, who they were and recognized, and there's definitely a lot of new, good players, so it's very exciting times for European golf. Robert has often adopted eccentric methods to improve his golf. He once spent an entire night hitting 10-foot putts, and he dieted on bread and milk for a month. He also had problems at the 2012 US Open. During the US Open, I, uh, uh, I just got standing too long over the ball. I just couldn't pull the trigger. It was impossible. I knew what I was going to do, and I, I was just standing over the ball forever, and people started booing. It's like, come on, hit it. And it was not a very nice experience. It was only the long shots. It's never been a problem with the putting. It's never been a problem with that. And it was quite funny, actually, my caddy, who now works for Henrik, Gareth Lord. I had a five wood into reachable par five the 16th, and, and um, it probably took me three minutes to get the ball away, and I hit it probably 40 yards right of the green. And um, I got it on all the trampled down grass, rock hard uh, underneath, over bunker, green slopes away, everything against me. And it just goes up and hits it one on to probably to 12 feet. And he just looked at me, he's like, something is wrong. You can't pull the trigger on a five wood from the middle of the fairway, but from this lie, you can hit the green, which is almost an impossible shot. This is not normal. And obviously that last few holes in US Open left quite a big scar in, in the mind. So um, I just wasn't able to, to hit it and uh, decided not to play. Having withdrawn from the Open Championship in 2012, Carlsen, an 11 time winner on the European Tour, encountered issues he'd never faced before. Everything you do in golf is repetition, it's habits. And what you've done, you just created the habit. And if you've created it, you can also uncreate it. I knew that I didn't want to be on the golf course. I didn't want to do the same things, the same routine, and never stand over the ball again too long. And I decided to take a completely different approach to my, to my routine. How is it going to look? When I get up to the ball, I'm going to put the club down, I'm going to look on my intermediate target, I'm going to look up once at the target, I'm going to look down on the intermediate target again, and when the eye reaches the ball, the club is going to go back. And if it doesn't go back, after two seconds, I step away. I don't get frustrated, I just start from the beginning. I tee the ball up, and the only focus was to get the ball off the tee. If I hit a thousand shanks in a row, it doesn't make a difference. I'm going to get the ball off the tee, and it's going to go in that order. So just retrain the brain from the beginning. The most important thing was just to understand that, that I was the one who created the problem and I'm the one who can solve it. No one else can do it and it is not the, some lightning bolt has come down and struck me and it's not something that a curse has been put on me. It is a habit that I've created so I can uncreate it. If you play uh, top sports in, in 20 odd years, you're going to go through most things in your career and, and as long as you could, uh, uh, you could stay and see this challenges you have to break through, I think it's a, it's a good thing. And I think you can get stronger and, and better out of it. I don't feel like I have anything sort of to prove. I, I just uh, am out there and trying to enjoy my golf and I'm really, really happy to be back playing golf because 2012 was tough and, and 13 I got through it and now I feel like I'm, I'm back playing again. Uh, where it's going to end up, we'll see.